Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us. My name is Irfan Shatari, and I'm the director of eDiscovery Strategy over at Veritas. And we're going to go through a brief, dem brief demonstration of the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery Solution. Now, the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery Solution is a SaaS based eDiscovery solution that goes from end to end across the eDRM. In addition, we have two different streams of workflow uh, of data that come into our discovery solution. One form of data is going to be through our archiving data inside of enterprisevault.cloud. And so any data that's been journaled in or archived in will be able to be discovered against the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery solution. But in addition, we uh, provide the additional functionality of looking at non-archived data targeting a collection, a reactive collection, to be able to be done against different content sources at the time of e-discovery. And so we have these two different content uh, streams that are all coming in to this complete e-discovery solution that goes from end to end. Now let's get into the demonstration. So we'll begin at the login suite for our demonstration. We'll go ahead and sign into our tool. And when we sign in, you'll see here on the left that we have two panes, our investigations pane and our e-discovery pane. Now I'll go over our e-discovery pane first. This is the more traditional e-discovery view where we have uh, reviewers, as you see here now. We have different tagging mechanisms inside of review status. And then we have the different cases that are available to us. When I open up a case, you'll see here on the left, I have different research sets, review sets, and production sets where I can take data and ultimately uh, uh, allow legal team reviewers to uh, save a search inside of research sets, um, be able to perform a search inside of the review set, and also be able to defensively produce the data out inside of a production set. But I wanna first walk through this investigations tab here at the left. This is where we've brought in all the data, our collections data into our Veritas Advanced eDiscovery solution. Now I mentioned to you briefly, we have two different streams of data that come into the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery solution. One is the archive content and the ability to be able to search that archive content is here below. Uh, but we also have those reactive collections to be able to target different content sources for your e-discovery needs. Now, as I mentioned, uh, the merge one tool or the integration of those different content sources is directly available from inside of this SaaS solution. When we go into our administration console and we come over to our archives collector page, we're able to see all the different collection sources that are able to be configured into the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery solution. This is a huge value add for eDiscovery. Um, traditionally, eDiscovery review tools had to go out and use different collections and tools to be able to pull data in for review. Now we're saying you can configure that content source right here. And then once configured, we can run targeted collections. Um, and when we come over to targeted collections, you'll see three of the content sources that I've already configured for me inside of the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery solution is Teams, OneDrive, and Enterprise Vault. Now with the Microsoft Teams collector, you'll see I can put in collection information. I can then filter my data. I'm not trying to pull in all the Teams data here. I wanna go and be very targeted in what Teams data I'm pulling in for my eDiscovery purpose. I can choose which custodians I collect against. I can choose a keyword uh, or set of keyword terms that I wanna to use to be able to narrow down that collection and I can also narrow down that collection by the date range filter. I then have the option to sending into that e-discovery space into one of the existing cases that are available for us now. Um, and then I'll have the ability to be able to review what that collection is going to look like. Now, once that data is captured in for collection, it'll go into my e-discovery case. But another way that I can compile data to put into my e-discovery case is through my archive. So let's go ahead and run a search against our archive. Now here inside of new search, I'm gonna search for the word purple. And now we have uh, three different tabs here. This is our purpose-built reviewer. We've built review tools specific for the content type that's being captured. So if you're capturing emails, we'll display it to you in the email view. If you're capturing Teams data, we're gonna display it for you inside of our collaboration view. And if you're capturing OneDrive data, we're capturing it inside the files view. So let's um, uh, minimize the screen here. And let's first take a look at emails. You can see here, we have our list of emails here, the ability to be able to move across these 3000 documents here on the bottom. And if I open up one of my emails, it pops up for here, me here on the right and gives me a, a view of that particular email. I can move along uh, from these arrow keys or I can simply select from the document list view here. Now let's look at collaboration view. Veritas Advanced eDiscovery has a very unique way of displaying Teams data for you. Uh, when we've displayed Teams data, first, we don't put it into an email viewer. That's taking a very rich content type of Teams and trying to pigeonhole it into an email viewer. If you have Teams data, we want you to review that Teams data inside of our collaboration view. 
And very briefly here, you can see here the uh, message that is in yellow is the particular uh, uh, Teams chat that uh, brought in that particular keyword search. But in addition, Teams, we need a bit of context around the particular Teams chat message. And what we do is we uh, keep those Teams chat messages into one string. So as long as the custodians on that particular conversation remained, we've captured all the uh, uh, Teams data that was exchanged in that discussion. We can move over to another one. Same thing here. The yellow highlighted uh, message is in fact the message that was be, uh, had the search results, but we'll provide a bit of context by going both above and below that particular message. And then we'll look at our files view. This is OneDrive data or loose files that are being captured into the discovery solution. And again, let's put file data in a particular uh, uh, viewer as well and being able to see files inside of the files view. So that's just a very brief demonstration of the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery Solution and all the offerings that we have. Please check veritas.com uh, underneath the eDiscovery page to see all the different eDiscovery offerings that we have um, and contact your local account manager to be able to speak more uh, on getting the Veritas Advanced eDiscovery Solution. Thank you very much.